bugs. There are so many bugs. The, uh, the wonders of hiking out in summertime, right? So we are here at, uh, <laughs> we're here in Cuyamaca State Park. We're at Paso Picacho Campground. We are gonna go hike Stonewall Peak for sunset. Here with Susie today. I'll drop her Instagram down below if you wanna check her out. We did some portraits in Cuyamaca, just quick, quick portraits. We're also gonna do some portraits up the mountain. So this will be obviously a vlog, uh, some landscape photography, some portrait photography, a lot of me swatting flies and stuff away. It's not normally this bad, but let's make our way up there for sunset. There's some clouds in the sky, so I'm feeling good about it. Feeling good about it. in the sunset here. I'm gonna do a couple of uh, landscape shots. We'll focus on some portraits to end that beautiful red ball of a sunset here. Whew, let's get to it. All right, how do you like the hike? It's honestly like the best hike in San Diego. I 100% agree. Beautiful views the whole time. 360, look at those clouds. Hiking back in the dark. Seems like you enjoyed the hike. On location still, so let's wrap up the video. One of the things that I always recommend to people, uh, especially when they're doing landscape photography, portraits works as well. You wanna revisit the same places over and over. And part of that is that when you show up like we did, especially a little late today, I already know my spots. I know what direction I wanna shoot in. I know what direction the sun's setting down. That makes planning a composition way, way easier. So when you're running a little late like today, Realize to know where you're going, where you're gonna set up. In terms of the photos, uh, the overall gist here is when you're shooting sunset, you generally wanna be at an aperture around really 2.8 to 5.6. I think that's mainly what you wanna aim for. Try to limit that ISO. Anything above 400, you might start to see some grain, depending on what kind of camera you have. And then your shutter speed, really, you're taking into account the wind. So it was a little bit windier up there. I think I still got away with one 100th of a second. Uh, but I didn't really want to go anything slower than that or the hair and some other parts of the photo might be just a little too blurry. Hope you guys enjoy the vlog. Stay tuned for some more content. Just gotta hike down in the dark now.